Now let us discuss about some other important concepts that will be needed in understanding CAE. The first one of which is degrees of freedom. There are six degrees of freedom uh, and it is defined as the least number of independent coordinates required to define the configuration of a system in space. If you see the below figure over here, you will find that at node number 1, the degrees of freedom available is 0. That means it is completely fixed over here and hence there is no translation move, movement allowed nor there is any rotational movement allowed over here. Similarly, at node N2, the degrees of freedom available is 1. That means only translation in x direction is allowed over here. So with, in this figure, you will understand what is the meaning of degrees of freedom. Next is boundary conditions. The boundary conditions are used to eliminate the unknowns in a system. That means if you see the below diagram over here, at node number 1, the displacement that is x1 will be completely 0 because as the degrees of freedom over here is 0, there is no translation nor rotational movement. Hence, there will be no displacement over here. So, x that is the displacement at node number 1 will be 0. So, x1 is equal to 0 becomes a boundary condition. And at node number 3, there is a load acting of 200 newtons. So, P is equal to 200 newton also becomes a boundary condition. The next important topic that we are going to discuss about is elements and element sheets. When we talk about FEA, the most important thing to understand is meshing. We will be discussing about meshing in our further, in our further chapters. But now we will discuss about the factors on which meshing depends. There are five factors on which meshing depends and they are element types, element shape, element order, element size and connectivity. So let us understand what this is 